Hi Capricorn, this is Patricia Luna. Thank you for all being here. So Capricorn, you came in fifth in the November readings and it's not so bad. Number five is always a positive number of beautiful changes that are coming for us. And so I want to thank you for all being here. Uh, so all you Cappies that are out there that have come to me for readings, okay, that you booked one-on-one -on -one personal readings with me. I haven't been feeling well in the month of November after the 11-11-11 gateway of light, uh, rays of light. And so um, I had to take two weeks off because they were working on my throat chakra and my crown chakra where I always, um, when I'm always channeling. So I had to uh, stay uh, away from readings and talking and so forth for about two weeks. And so uh, I had to hire um, assistants, okay, secretaries to help me with the emails uh, because in November I got an overflow of emails coming in as well when I wasn't feeling well. So if you do check uh, your noble, um, if you do check your spam or your, um, for a noble moon child, um, 1111 at gmail.com, okay, that's my secretary's trying to uh, reach you for a confirmation of a reading. Um, if, and also, um, if, if there's any changes, uh, just check your emails, okay? And uh, thank you for your patience. I know that, um, you know, when I'm scheduled to do one-on-one -on -one reading and I'm not and I'm not able to channel or use my, my throat, um, I have to reschedule, okay? And, um, in, and for like the inconvenience, uh, I was also gonna give a free Reiki healing because I am a master Reiki. So uh, for those of you that are still waiting your, uh, your readings from me, um, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the patience that you have been, been giving me uh, since now, okay? Uh, but I am back and I am feeling better, thank the Lord, <laughs> okay? It's been a long ride. And uh, so to make, so like before I start with the reading, I just want to say also that um, I have a website that's uh, being uh, put up right now. It's still under construction, but it's there, okay? And that's at www. Um, the CMC Collective 1111.com uh, and uh, I'll be having many services there. For those of you that want a quick question on Instant Go, you could contact me just for a question because I am booked for the month of November, uh, I guess November's ending, right? December, man, sorry. I know this is a December reading, but uh, my November I'm booked and December, January, I'm almost booked. So if you want to reserve a spot with me, there's no problem, you could. Uh, through in single but you're gonna have to wait okay because i do not do the same day readings and uh usually people reserve with me most of the time okay and uh, so if you want to go on instant go for a quick question it's uh, www.instantgo.com slash cosmic moon child tarot 1111 for those of you that want to follow me on instagram for live readings it's patricia underscore 1111 and for others of you that want to follow me on Facebook for inspiration, it's Patricia Luna. So let's get started with your reading. I found my singing bowl, okay, Cappies? So for those of you that are wearing earphones, please take it off. For others of you, this is also good if you're stressed or you're having a lot of negative energies around you. This is going to clear it completely. So when I ring the bowl, all I want you to do is close your eyes, take a deep breath, and release, okay? So we'll go for count number one. Now we'll call count for number two. There we go. I'm still gonna put some spring. So from some for my sacred space here, some for you, and some for me. And this is called the violet flame. So the th so before we get started again. <laughs> um, here I, I don't know if you see, but I have three packs of cards, okay? So the first ones are energy oracle cards okay that i shuffled and put your energy in it to see what the uh, angels and our archangels want to say if this is a message that will come afterwards after i do the reading if maybe there's something i did not say in the reading it will be said here okay so i'll put this pack here and the court and the crystal is a clear quartz okay so that will be on the first for those of you that choose pack number two this is ask angels and i put amethyst Okay, and for those of you that are choosing pack number three, which is the Romance Angels, okay, I will put the Rose Quartz, okay, and this is going to be done at the end of the reading. I did not look at the cards, so we're going to do them together. 
And uh, so how you choose this is, oh, you could choose it by crystal. You could choose it by pack. You could choose three packs, two packs, one pack. It's whatever you feel that you are prompt to do, okay? Now, the theme of your reading is the four of wands, okay? So the four of Ariel. And that talks about stability in a home, completion in a home. This could also talk about marriage for some of you. And they're all saying, what you give, you also receive. Be res Being resistant to change. Some of you are being resistant to change and extremes in how you save or spend money. So you've got, this is the theme, okay, of your whole reading. Something about to do with home. When I went into your energy, okay, I felt a lot of you Cappies are trying to go within yourself to find your answers, to connect with your spiritual guides, connect with spirit themselves. And um, a lot of you are going to be going through uh, judgment, which means like uh, something that's coming in that's meant to be, okay? Um, this could be love, this could be money, whatever the case is, okay? So let me just shuffle them a bit more, and then we're going to get started with your reading. I feel a lot of you have walked away from a certain path, Capricorn, or walked away from people. You're hoping that your dreams will be coming true in the month of December, okay? There may be an offering for you here. I love interest that's coming in, okay? Um, I'm also picking up here that you are you're coming up with a lot of ideas. Maybe this is uh, solutions. Um, your strength also and your health is feeling better in the month of December, okay? You have a lot of ideas, I feel, Cappies. And you know I love you very much, Capricorn, you know? Um, if uh, Always look at your rising sign, your moon sign, okay? And your Venus, because I always include Venus in the reading. If in the beginning of, the, of uh, December you come to me and let's say the reading doesn't totally resonate with you, always come back at the end of the month to watch it again because it will resonate more with you then, okay? Um, I feel like some of you are, um, there's a twin flame journey that's over here, or a twin flame person that's here, but you're not, I don't feel like you're letting that person in at this moment, I feel for some of you. You're, you're, a lot of you are starting to pick up the pieces and moving forward uh, slowly, okay? A lot of you are not sleeping well at night, you're worried about something, okay? Uh, but what I feel for you is that the universe is trying to tell you that things will be fair and just for you. The messages for Capricorn. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the cards in three and let's get started with your reading. I'm very excited to be here. I'm always look forward to uh, doing the Capricorn reading. So, how it works for me is that the more you like, the more you view, the more you share, you will come first in the readings, is, and I, which I think is only fair. So, um, you know, Capricorn, um, I really love you guys, all of you Capricorn out there that um, had readings from me. I, I really appreciate all of you, you know, for trusting me and uh, for, you know, trusting me with your life and trusting me with your, um, you know, your stories and what you've been through, you know. I'm, I feel that, I'm, I feel very humbled by all of you. And as you know, I work with energy. So I work with energy. So I could pick up any energy that's out there. So the more you uh, like or comment on my video, um, the more I will uh, feel you and I can bring you into my readings. Oh, there's a lot more. Okay. I also felt that um, there's a decision here. I'm going to show you the cards. I'm just going to place them out, okay, Capricorn? gonna take out the cards and then we'll get started with your reading for those of you Capricorn that have Pisces in your rising sign I feel or in your moon let's say you're a Capricorn and your moon is in Pisces I feel that you have been feeling better uh, you haven't been like feeling sick or anxieties okay there's something that you're very impatient about here, I feel. So there's a decision in the first week of December that you're going to have to make. I feel that you already made the decision with your mind, but I don't feel that you did it with your heart. This has to do with maybe um, working with other people. If you're a teacher 
or you're working or you're getting together with a family member and you're building something and growing okay or this could be a third party situation for some of you okay there's somebody else involved i also feel uh from the second week coming to the second first week coming to the second week that someone's trying to get away with something okay this or this is you trying to uh, not tell something to someone or someone is doing this to you okay and um there's something you got the ace of wands reversed as well for the second week doesn't mean it's going to stay reversed it just means that um there's something that's blocking it at this moment some of you are dealing with a Leo, okay? It could also be that you're dealing with a Leo. I see that your strength is going to be doing great in the second week of, of December. Uh, something that has to come in, divine timing, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is also delayed at this moment, okay? And um, I feel that you are in the present moment, that you're staying in the moment. And there's also a Cancer here, if you, some of you are dealing with a Cancer. But this is, could also mean that you are... Um, you are taking your, your control back as well. There's something that there's a, not, not, if you're dealing with someone in the last week that's a Pisces here, I don't feel that there's new, a new beginning at this moment because all three cards are reversed, okay? There's some kind of something that's happening here. And I feel if you, maybe some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius, if you're not dealing with Sagittarius in the month of December, you're not gonna be um, maybe cooperative with yourself or with other people okay uh, loss of uh, which i feel like you really need to go within yourself meditate maybe if that helps you um there's something that is uh, is bothering you or someone is doing this to you okay so we're gonna go deeper into the reading and see what else is going on for you capricorn i hope that you're doing all well Okay, I really miss you a lot. And I really, like I said, like I was looking forward to do your reading tonight. Um, I want to wish you a ha happy holidays. Uh, may um, God bless all of your family and friends, whoever that you spend the holidays with. Merry Christmas for some of you as well. There's an offering here that's delayed right now. There's something that... There's a lot of fears around money as well, fears of opening your heart, things not being clear, someone not coming in. Uh, maybe this is a opportunity or job or some kind of money that's not coming in in the month of December, the first week, okay? There's something that's not clear here. Someone's not speaking the truth or there's something that's not clear. So you could also be dealing with an air sign. I do sense that there's a fear of money as well. I see a lot of fours on the ground, so four, four angels are around you. You're holding too tight to your pentacles. You're not sure what's going on if this offering is coming in, but right now what I'm seeing is it's delayed. You're dealing if you're dealing with someone else that's doing something to you. I feel there's someone that's very manipulative around you. Uh, I feel that they're very manipulative. They're trying to hide things from you. Messages are delayed at this moment. So there is messages that are delayed in the first week of December. That's because Mercury is in retrograde till December 6th. So it could also be. But whoever that, uh, uh, you're dealing with, if you're dealing with someone, you're not dealing with someone that has good characteristics here. And there's not this offering that you're wanting. Like a, Some of you, it's an apology. Some of you are waiting. Um, I, I, I feel that um, there's more than one person involved. And... When you make this decision in December, Capricorn, when you do make a decision, okay, with your heart and open your heart and make that decision that you have to make because you know what the decision is, divine timing will take place for you because you have been seeing the signs coming, the signs, your messages, whatever that's coming forth, you've been seeing this. So divine timing is coming for you. And there's an offering here, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, an Aries or an air sign. Doesn't matter the sign because it's a general reading. So you could also be dealing with a um, Virgo, maybe someone like you, Capricorn or Taurus. Someone that's unstable, okay? Someone that's not emotionally available, I see here, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
um, or you're dealing with a Leo. There's a lot of signs here, but the fact of the matter is whoever this person is, whoever this person is, they're very unstable at this moment and they're not emotionally invested, okay? Even though the sun is shining on it, it's reversed right now. There's something that has to, that is reversed here. Um, I see a soulmate energy here. This could also be doing with work as well. If it's not a love relationship, then there's something at work that's going on for you, Capricorn. That someone is not being, uh, they're manipulating you and they're trying to get away with something. Um, either or job or if it's a love interest. Okay. There's still, you know, there's an energy around you that, that I'm not really, I'm not liking. You have the five of uh, swords reversed. It doesn't mean that this person is taking advantage of you. It's reversed right now. <coughs> this could be a person that you're dealing with, I feel. A love interest. Even though it's reversed a card, it still means the same for me. They had those intentions. Maybe they don't have those intentions anymore. But that it's, that energy is still around you. There's some kind of victory that's coming towards you. Um, some kind of justice that will be coming in for you. If it, you're dealing with someone that is doing this to you, that's being manip manipulative and they're trying to hide stuff from you and they're trying to not to, they're not like really the, the greatest people ever. Um, some of you are dealing with a Libra, okay? Um, but things will be fair and just for you and there's gonna be some kind of victory. But I think that you have to do is that you have to, um, you, you're gonna have to make a decision. Sorry for my dogs, they're barking. You're, you're in the second week, you're gonna start feeling better. Okay, and I feel that you will return to being calm again. Um, I see here that there's going to be a quick message coming in, a swift message coming in uh, to give you a message, a truthful message with tact, okay? Um, you're, you came into the cards, uh, Capricorn, but you're reversed. It shows me that you're not bonded to anybody. It also means that uh, you're not feeling like too grounded at this moment. But there is a Cancer around you, Scorpio or Pisces as well. Um, someone that is bringing in news of stability here. But I still feel that you're not very clear of what's going on. Please comment and let me know if this is going on with for you. I feel that like this is for a lot of people here that are trying to figure out about someone. There is a second chance here, but it's still reversed for the third week of December. The wheel of fortune reversed. Show me why the wheel of fortune is reversed. Show me why the wheel of fortune is reversed. Okay, there's someone that's coming. So there's something that's not completed. Look at this. Wow, look at this. There's something that's not completed. Okay, For whatever it is that the completion is. If it's about a work, if it's about a love interest, a decision that you have to make. Because I feel that when you make this decision, okay, Capricorn, whatever it is, the, the situation in your life, I feel that um, things, that someone will be coming through and divine timing is here and the angels are working behind the scenes and things are going to be successful and there's going to be justice for you and things are going to be fair and just. I do feel that, okay? But something is not completed. When it completes, you'll have a second chance, divine timing, completion in a new era. But right now, it's still not completed. Okay, I also sense an energy of someone coming in. They could be a Taurus. It doesn't have to be, okay? It could be any sign. But this person is a moving. I'm, I'm looking more at the energy of this person. They're slow moving, okay? They take their time to come. But when they come, they stay. And they're faithful. They're very faithful people. Very kind and humble people.
Look at this, guys. Wow, or girls. Look at this. You have the judgment, the world, and the wheel of fortune reversed. Okay? If it would be like this, it would tell me a new beginning. It would be karma is coming in to reset something. But it's still reversed because that decision has to be made. And I know that you know this already, Capricorn. You have to open that heart of yours and make that decision. I feel that you've seen this for a while now. It's been in front of you. It's not as if like this is something new. Okay? There's something that you're not seeing. Or maybe you don't want to see it. There's someone looking at you or they're looking, or someone is spying on you or you're spying on someone. Someone's looking over someone. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a lot of communication as well. You're waiting. You're just waiting here. But I feel like you need to take some kind of action because I feel like you reached a plateau, which is, uh, meaning it's not going to go further than this. Because you, for some of you are still looking at the past and looking at the things that went wrong and you're not looking at the blessings around you. I feel like re you're reevaluating your money. For some of you, you're reevaluating all your life. And this is the third week. And there is an energy coming very quickly in. This could also be a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. I have a water sign that's coming in. I have uh, a fire sign that's coming in. I have air sign and earth. I have all the, all the signs here. But this kind of energy, I feel... Let me see. Let me see if I can get another card. You're starting to pick up the pieces. Some of you are online. You're starting to pick up the pieces and you're moving forward one step at a time, I feel. Maybe you're dealing with someone that's going to be coming in and coming out, coming in, coming out. It's as if they're not sure. Loss of sleep. Not sleeping a lot. Thinking, overthinking. I feel like you've received the signs. It's just like, I don't know, you have to make a decision. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck, stuck, and you're looking in your future as well for some of you, but you're not moving away from the situation. I do feel that your dreams will be coming true. There will be some kind of commitment, but it's not here at this moment for some of you. And trust your intuition because your, intu your intuition is very, very important right now in the last week of December, but it's very strong. Trust your intuition about some kind of commitment here. Someone that's a bit unstable, doesn't, not sure. You got the Ace of Cups, but this is reversed. Divine love, something about a home, long term. Trust your intuition. There's still a lot of things that you still do not know, Capricorn. It shows me here. This, is, For some of you, this has to do with a twin flame. Gemini could be something when you've been separated from your twin flame. Okay? There's some things, there's still a lot of things that you don't know. Maybe some of you are married to your twin flame. Or you want a commitment with your twin flame. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. You're feeling stuck. It's a decision that has to be made. I hear. I really feel deeply that when you make this decision, things are gonna turn around for you. I'm telling you because I, it's rare. I get. It's very rare when I say this Capricorn that I get these three cards like this. It's very rare. The judgment, the world, and the wheel of fortune reversed. Okay. And right now, as I'm doing your video, it's 24, 24. I saw number 2442, and I'm hearing church bells in the background. When this decides, when you decide to make a decision, Capricorn, 
all these three cards will go upright. And that means a completion of learned lessons, new beginnings, divine timing, luck on your side, health, luck, anything you want is on your side. Karma is bringing you all these beautiful things here. But they're reversed. A decision has to be made. If you want victory. And if you want things to be fair and just. One final card. Capricorn, please. For overall energy. One final card. It's too many. I just want one card. One card. For, one more last card. So you are not letting this person in. For others of you, this also could mean um, look at look, look at what I've been through. I'm still standing, and I'm gonna keep going. I'm receiving the messages. I'm just waiting. For others of you, is like you're not letting anybody in because you've been through enough, and I understand that. But I also understand that. I also want to tell you, is that I also feel. For a lot of you, that a decision has to be made. Because in the first week, you will have divine timing there to bring in somebody. And I feel that someone is going to come in. A lot of you are taking care of your pentacles, taking care of yourself. Uh, you're very independent. You're very grounded. Cappies. And you love nature. Nature loves you. You hear the signs, you see the signs, you feel the signs. Okay, and um, so I hope that uh, this reading was well for you. Now I'm going to take my second deck here to give you additional messages for maybe if this reading wasn't for all of you. Is there anything else I could pick up for you? This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2018. What are the messages for Capricorn? For some of you, you will be getting married in the month of December. Someone's going to propose to you, maybe December 3rd, between December 3rd and December 13th. Okay, um, some of you are going to be receiving a lot of money. Okay, there's money here. Some of you are going to be marrying someone that has a lot of money or, I don't know, money, but something about money. Okay, uh, someone that's maybe a lawyer um, I feel that this person has like a brown, like his, his office is, his office is a brown, like it, everything's brown, the walls are brown, desk is brown, he has something like a clock on his desk, he always wears suits, or okay, wherever this person is, I, st I do see marriage here, but I also see, for others of you, there's someone that you know, uh, that it that's wearing the false that's wearing a false mask. They're not showing you their truth. There's a lot of good fortune coming towards you in the month of December. I see number seven seven seven. I see number eleven. I see actually number eleven one two. So I see eleven eleven. Something has to close for something else to begin as I keep hearing. Something is not completed here. You're going to probably be receiving a message of concern, something coming in that you will be concerned about somebody. I feel here. You're going to be getting unexpected income, someone that is really, really wealthy, and great fortune is on your side. The divine goddess is sending out these beautiful blessings of mag magic pixie dust. <laughs> it's very beautiful. I see marriage for some of you as well. You'll be proposed to in the month of December. 
for those of you, and I don't tell you guys, I don't tell this often, and I, I won't promote that, but try to play the lottery in the month of December. You know, whenever the spirit guides tell you to pick up a lottery ticket, pick it up. You never know. A lot of you are coming out of a dark period, Capricorn, and you're going towards the light. You're going, you're going through many transformations. You're still transformation. You're still going through the transformations, but the light is near. There's and there's light at the end of the, of the tunnel. You have a grand community. I feel like you live in a place where people really always talk to you, and um, I want to always want to be around you. And here is your twin flame. Again. A decision. This could be a Gemini. A lover. A gift is coming in for you from the universe. For all the hard work and all, all the stuff you've been through, Capricorn. So, I feel a lot of you are in your thoughts. I, I feel you thinking a lot. There's something that's not done here. There's something that's not completed yet. But um, I also see someone of wisdom here, someone older that likes to read books. He's traveled a lot. I feel that he's traveled uh, many, many places and he has so much acknowledgement that's there for you. Um, There's a person maybe that is a teacher. It could be someone that you know, an older person, older man. But be careful of this false person around you, man or woman. There is someone around you. So now let's get with the energy healing cards. So for those of you that chose the clear cords, okay, Capricorn, with the energy oracle cards, your message is the sun. So the sun is shining on you. Okay, so you're dealing with a Leo. Whenever the sun shines, okay, everything is so much beautiful and gives so much power, okay? The second one is yin and yang, number 22. So this has to do with a twin flame coming in together, merging, maybe December 22nd. Who knows? But uh, it is the light, and the, the light and the shadow coming in together. And the sun is shining on this. And also you got blossoming abundance. So there's going to be a lot of abundance for you, Capricorn. So congratulations for that. For those of you that use that uh, took amethyst, you have, and the uh, ask angels, you have romance. This is a divine partner again, aka twin flame. It's very strong in your reading. Okay, uh, this is one that you're connected to spirit, and you come in, and maybe through your visions and dreams, you are merging together before you get into the physical. But I see this very strong here. A lot of you are starting to feel better. Okay, you have you're recovering a lot of green light around you and yellow. It's so beautiful and blue and purple. And I'm happy that you're feeling better, Capricorn. And they're asking you to wait. Wait. I don't know what, who this is for, but I think this is a specific message here for somebody. For those of you that use the rose quartz, you got express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Maybe you have to offer the cup of love to somebody, Capricorn. Right? All your healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, forgiveness is such a big word, but, you know, if someone hurt you in your past, let's say it's your parents, let's say there was a form of abuse and, and many other things that happened, you don't have to forgive. If you're not able to forgive the person, but forgive the situation, talk to your parents, forgive the situation like that. You could free yourself because to, to heal, to evolve, to grow, for completions to take place, for new beginnings to happen, there has to be a form of forgiveness and learning from it, or just forgiving, okay? And the last card you got is soulmate. So yes, this is your soulmate. A lot of you are also dealing with a soulmate energy. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, again, I wish you a beautiful December, and... Um, for this, uh, before I let you go, sorry, I just want to say that I will be sending a Reiki healing uh, for all of you Capricorns in the month of December. I will put your uh, um, your um, initials on a huge candle that I have, 
and around the holidays, I will be sending a Reiki healing. If you'd like to embrace us, it's a, it's a, a thank you. I'm saying thank you for um, what you do for me, Capricorns. Your all the love and support that you've been giving me, and um, you know, from the, the time that I've been here, I want to give something back to you. So I will be sending you a Reiki healing, and all you have to do is embrace it. You're gonna feel like light. You're gonna feel tingling, and you are gonna feel lighter and better. So um, I will be I will be sending you that. I hope you receive you receive my gift, and a happy holidays again. Merry Christmas to all. God bless you all, and I'll see you in the month of January. Bye.